Good morning guys, this is day two. I'm going to go meet Jomar, the guy who's going to lend us his car. Uh, we're gonna have breakfast downstairs first. To begin our day, we had our breakfast to fuel our bodies with energy we needed with the activities that lie ahead. Yeah, I think this is the car. Good morning. Uh, to be able to move around easier, we had arranged a car rental from our good friend Jomar. If you guys need a ride in Legaspi City, he's the guy to go to. Check him out. I will post the link below. Alright, we are now ready for our day's journey. We did last minute checks and we are now ready to go. So now we got the rental. We're ready to cruise around Legaspi City. You know, it's not too bad driving around here. It's actually pretty easy. The road's, the road's nice. It's pretty wide. Wasting no time, we headed to our first stop on our list, Kitindai Green Hills. One in Chocolate Hills in Bohol, we also have here in Bicol, Kitindai Hills. There's another one right there. Kitindai Green Hills is a breathtaking natural attraction. It is a cluster of green hills that offers a stunning panoramic view of the surrounding landscape. The place wasn't that hard to find. All we needed was our ways and we had no problems reaching the place within 40 minutes of drive. Okay, we're here in Kitinda Green Hills. Hello, Pa. Uh, five minutes to reach the top, Pa. Yes, sir. Uh, we have an entrance here, Pa. 70 each plus. 70? The parking is 20 in the car. With uh, one lane. This right one lane. We're here at Kitindai Hills Eco Adventure. Uh, the entrance is 70 pesos per person, and then if you have your car and you want to park, there's a 20 peso parking fee. This place just opened in 2021, so I guess with all the donations of those who were visiting, they were able to now put up these stairs. December 7. What a sight to see! With the breeze blowing and a beautiful 360 view of the surrounding landscape, I was again awed by Mother Nature. View deck, which is gonna be a bit higher. And once we're there, we probably have a view of more hills. Behind me, you're gonna see that it really looks like the chocolate hills. Just from where I'm standing, you can see like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hills. And if I pan it around, there's more here on this side over there and it goes there and I think it goes around. So I'm, I'm in the middle of it. And as you can see earlier, they've, they started building up, building up the stairs to make it easier for guests and tourists to climb up here and get the nice view. Let's go to the right view deck, right side. So it's a lot of up and down to get a nice view. This is just a easy hike, but for those who don't exercise or have no cardio, you're gonna have a hard time going up these hills. You know, it's not so much the climb that's hard, it's the heat beating down on you. Look at the view. That is Kitendai Green Hills. I guess the best time to come here is early morning or probably around afternoon when the sun is about to set. And you can get that golden hour shot for your Instagram or your Facebook. After exploring the view from the top and taking some photographs, we headed back down to continue to our next destination. We stopped and said goodbye to my... Uh, everyone, po, please, please go to another hills, po. Kitindai Hills. Kitindai Hills. Napakaganda po dito. Parang po ang sino ng hangin. Thank you. Ovelyar Underground River. Here we come. Cashing out money because there's no ATMs around. So I found a store that cashes out Gcash. Uh, make sure you guys bring your cash 
when you go to Hoveliar Underground River. Thank you. So we got our 3,000. There's no ATM around here. We got stores like this. So you just ask around where they do cash out. Now, with money for our entrance fee and our tour guide, and getting closer and closer to our destination, we couldn't help it but feel a little bit more excited. Wow. So, we can pass by here. So we got our tour guide. We have a tour guide over here. Come on, lead us where we're supposed to go, doggy. Here at last, we parked our car inside a covered gym, and here is where we met our guide. Huh? May guide na rin po yan kasama. Ah, kayo po yung... Anong name niyo, Kuya? Kuya Ding po. Ding. Ding. Kuya Ding na lang po. Ann po. JC. Ann. Uh -huh. okay. We are at the registration office. Good morning. Yung 330 ma'am, pwede na kayo nito mag-picture date, yung sightseeing and swimming po. Okay. And then yung buka na po ng underground, makikita nyo na ma'am, eto. Magkakapunta na kayo sa Honey Bridge, sa Diving Area, and then unlimited swimming na po yun. Magka-add lang tayo ng payment ma'am, pagpapasok na kayo dito sa underground river. Po. Which is, yan yung 1,000? Yung bamboo rafting po, 400 per 1 to 5 person. Mm -hmm. Aside sa underground, meron po kaming dry cave. Pagpapasok kayo dito ma'am sa dry cave, 300 each. Mm -hmm. So in case gagawin lahat, total package niya for 2 is 1,330. Okay. We took the whole tour package, and with Kuya Ding as our head, we started our hike. First, we headed towards Silai Cave. Oh, there's like a territorial dispute. We got dogs waiting for us on the other side of the bridge. We crossed path with some hostile dogs who seemed like they didn't like visitors. But anyway, Kuya Ding managed to take care of all of that. Kasi ito yung seal, Pinupo, pwede itong pupukin lang ng bato. Tapos pwede nang kainin yan? O yung laman, kung hindi pa sira sir. Mm. Kasi hindi sa may sira, sira din yung laman. Uh, this one sira na. Okay. Pero may maputi, may ano. Ito parang okay pa yung laman. Pwede ito, mamaya pupukin natin. Kuya Ding was excellent. We were learning a lot from him as we trekked towards the cave. Parang ganyan sir. Ay, Tapos naka toothpick? Opo, nandun yung laman. Uh, okay, so this is the leaf that they use for suman, another Filipino delicacy, dessert. Gano kalayo yung tagus niyan? Uh, more or less, ano sir, more or less 75 meters. I'm not really a big fan of caves. For one, I feel claustrophobic. And two, yeah. I always feel like someone is following us from behind. Which doesn't fit well, since I always end up at the back of the line. Anyway, we made the best of it. We saw stalagmites and stalactites. Stalactites. Maganda ma'am, ang kumikinan. Ang ka po ma'am. Okay, we're out of here. Time to move on and see some daylight. We do a little trek going to underground river. And now we're talking. This is what we love. A river playground. After numerous jumps and relaxed swimming in the Turquoise River, we couldn't ask for more. This definitely was the highlight of the day. But wait, there's more. We're doing the underground, underground river cruise. We're on a raft and we're waiting for some people to come in. 
Hoveliar Underground River is a majestic underground river that winds its way through caves and rock formations, creating a breathtaking and unforgettable experience for anyone who visits. We are in the underground river. We're on a raft. As we entered the cave, we are immediately transported to a world of wonder and enchantment. The river flows through the darkened caves, only illuminated by the soft glow of lights that guide our ways. The walls of the caves are adorned with glittering stalactites and stalagmites, creating an otherworldly atmosphere that is both eerie and beautiful. Upon reaching the other side of the cave, we found a beautiful spot to swim, hang out, and enjoy the nature that surrounds us. The experience feels almost magical, as if visitors have been transported to a hidden world that few had ever seen. My milk, egg milk, mas mauuhaw ka. Alright. Have a bite of this on the way home. Ham and cheese croissant. <laughs> this is where we went in. Mm. And then we turned right, right? Mm. And then the dog. Pagkaraan ng walundaang metro. Kumana.